when two or more species live closely together they establish a relationship called symbiosis in our life we have many interactions with people around us you really wish to kill some people while you are unaffected by some there are some with whom you compete whereas some whom you love similarly when two different species come in contact with each other there are many possible type of interactions that can occur mutualism is a type of symbiotic relationship wherein both the species benefit from each other just like you and your friend helping each other for an exam except for the fact that you two belong to the same species a good example of mutualism is that of ants and aphids who support each other ants can transport aphids to new plants to eat and they can bring them inside the ant hill when it is too cold outside and protect them from predators like ladybugs ants do this because aphids poop is basically a sugar placed called honeydew ants take care of aphids protect them and transport them so that they can eat their poop as food since both the ant and the aphid are benefited in this type of relationship this is called as mutualism commensalism is a type of symbiotic relationship wherein one species benefits whereas the other remains unaffected it's like your friend peeping into your answers which won't affect your performance in exams but it will definitely benefit your friend a good example of commensalism is that of a shark and remora fish when the shark feeds on small fishes it might leave leftovers which is consumed by the remora fish the shark is unaffected by this however the remora fish is benefited competition is a relationship between two organism that has negative effect on both the animals this can happen when two animals are competing for food land or for a mate it's just like you writing your exam seriously to score more than the competitor in class sometimes they may win and sometimes you may win so none of you is actually reaping full benefit from this relationship parasitism is the type of symbiotic relationship wherein one species is benefited whereas the other one is harmed it's like a classmate exchanging answer sheets without your knowledge during an exam thus they will benefit from your scores whereas you will be harmed a good example will be of the dog and ticks in biological system mainly parasites live on or inside the host body and rely on the host for food and energy requirements thus exhausting the host resources the bacteria and viruses that attack us and make us sick are the parasites who are benefiting at the cost of our health so we are at a loss parasitism is different from predation because parasites do not really kill their host they just take benefit from their host predation is the relationship between the predator and a prey the predator survives by killing and eating the prey luckily predation is not observed in a normal school scenario examples of predation could be anything where a higher tropic level animal hunts down a herbivore or a lower tropic level animal for its meat a good example would be the one with snakes eating rats if this video was helpful to you then please like this video share it with your friends subscribe to my channel and don't forget to leave us your valuable comments thank you